Today we're going to talk about Rolt's Law for ideal fluids. So what is a pure liquid? A pure liquid is simply a liquid that is not contaminated by any other compound or molecule. For example, suppose we have a closed system, a closed container, and inside this container we have pure water. What that simply means is that the only types of molecules found within our system are water molecules. Now what will happen to our system if it's left untouched? Well, eventually, some of the water molecules found on the surface of the liquid will escape into the gas state and will become gas molecules, and this is called evaporation. Now, when the rates of evaporation and condensation are equal, the system is said to be in dynamic equilibrium. At this point, we could measure something called vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by evaporated molecules or gas molecules found in dynamic equilibrium with the pure liquid molecules. Now what will happen to our system if we add a non-volatile compound to our pure substance? Remember, a non-volatile compound is a compound that will not evaporate. And remember, evaporation only occurs on the surface area of the liquid. So therefore, let's look at what happens to our surface area after we add this substance. The surface area of the liquid is constant. It remains the same. And that's because our system, our container, remains constant. It will not change in shape or size. So if you take the cross-sectional before addition and after addition, the cross-sectional area will remain the same. What will change, however, is the number of pure liquid molecules found on the surface area. And this number will decrease. And this is because of the presence of non-volatile compounds. Now, for example, let's look at the before picture. Before addition, we have water molecules found on the surface area. And these water molecules will escape and they're going to condense back into the liquid state. Now, after the addition, we're going to have some non-volatile compounds replacing these molecules. And that means less molecules or less uh, pure molecules present on the surface. And remember, evaporation occurs on the surface of the liquid. So if there are less volatile molecules, less molecules that evaporate, less gas molecules will, will be present at equilibrium. And this means the pressure or the vapor pressure is less. And this is Rolt's Law. Rolt's Law gives us the following equation. The vapor pressure after the addition is equal to the mole fraction of the pure substance times the vapor pressure before addition. And this is known as Rolt's Law. Now let's look at the addition of a volatile compound to a pure mixture. A volatile compound is simply a compound that will evaporate. So what happens to our surface area? Well, the surface area remains the same. And that's because, once again, our container does not change in shape or size. Its cross-sectional area remains constant. And once again, we have a less pure molecules found on the surface. And that's because they're replaced by the new volatile compound. But now there's a major difference. Now we're dealing with a compound that is allowed to evaporate. So let's look at the difference. The before picture, before addition, we only have water molecules or pure molecules found on the surface. And these guys will evaporate and will create a certain vapor pressure. The vapor pressure is this. The after picture, after we add uh, the volatile compound, we're going to have a mixture of the new compound and the old compound found on the surface area. But now the red guys, the new compound, are allowed to evaporate. So now the vapor pressure will be due to these molecules and these molecules. So Rolt's law will tell us that the final vapor pressure of our system will be the vapor pressure due to the new guys plus the vapor pressure due to the old guys. So the final pressure is the sum of the two pressures.